Okay, so if you've made it to this video, I'm hoping that you have already seen uh, introduction videos to the concepts of data filters, group by, and table filters. Now, just very quickly to set myself up for a good example here, I'm going to implement all of the above. We've already got two data filters in place. Let's just quickly go to course, and we're going to be doing some, uh, some sort bys. Um, so we've got our data filters. I currently don't have any table filters in here. Let me quickly chuck a table filter in here. I'm going to say that I actually want them to be profitable courses with the current data filters. So now we've got three pages of profitable courses. And now we're just introducing you to the concept of sorting this data. So you can, of course, sort by course, which does it in alphabetical order for this instance. Um, if you were using a more numerical group by, uh, like distance, it would sort by the actual distance. Um, you can sort by runs, you can sort by non-runners, which isn't that useful to be honest, um, number of winners, strike rate, the average price, profit and loss, a lot more useful, and return on investment as well. Again, very useful. So this is a very powerful feature, um, and it's something that is really useful when you combine it with the other um, features of ProStats, which of course are data filters, group by, and table filters. And we'll be using all, all three of those there to, to generate this data on screen right now. I hope that helps. Cheers.